Good evening, YouTube. And have I ever got something to show you now? Yes, this is a show and tell. This evening, I uh, had a visit from a certain Mr. Tom Owen, who, as I'm sure you know, I uh, bought a load of the Transformer toys off earlier in the year. I had a special arrangement with him whereby he would drop by my house once a week, drop off a couple of bots, I'd hand over some cash, and I spent you know, a couple of hundred quid with him and bought a, a shitload of really cool bots. Well, I hadn't quite finished with him. He said he had something else that I might be quite interested in. Can you guess what it is? I've bought me some comics! <laughs> yes, Tom Owen said he had a, a bunch of Transformer comics and comic books, but um, as he had recently moved house, he didn't know where they were. So uh, after I paid for the last Transformer toy I bought of him, which was the, um, the reissue G1 Optimus Prime uh, set, He's, I said to him, no, I, I reminded him about the comics, I said, any chance you could sort them out? And he says, yeah, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, didn't hear from him for a couple of months. And then, was it last week or the week before, I decided to knock him up and uh, see if he could uh, do anything about it. So I sent him a, an email at first, but he didn't respond to it. So then I sent him a text message and said, you know, any chance you can sort those comics out for me? Anyway, a few days later, he sent me a list. Now... I was expecting it to be, you know, a bunch of comics, just a, you know, just a couple of comics. And I was expecting to pay 25, 30 quid for them. You know, a bunch of about, you know, 10, 12, something, something like that. I wasn't expecting this lot. Now, these ones on top are all, you know, the combined books. Inside the box, it's full of loose comics. Now, when he sent his uh, original text, he says, he says, um, I want 100 quid for the lot. And I thought, 100 quid for a few old comics? Are you having a laugh? I mean, Tom Owen, he, he'd, um, the stuff he'd, I'd bought of him before, I, the prices he had uh, sold the stuff to me was, was very reasonable and I was quite happy to pay his asking prices because I thought they were, they were well within the, the bounds of reality. You know, he wasn't trying to stitch me or anything, you know, he wasn't trying to rip me off. He was offering me, you know, really good quality stuff at really reasonable prices and I was more than happy to pay it. So I thought, well, what's going on? Anyway, they emailed me the list. And the list is huge. It's... It's like two pages, there's like 64 items on it, and I thought, hmm, okay, uh, maybe maybe this is going to be worth going for. Now, I don't really know IDW Comics at all. Marvel G1 Comics, my knowledge of Marvel G1 Comics goes from issue 1 to issue 2, was it issue uh, 199? The first 200, just before the Time War started. That's my knowledge of Marvel G1 Comics. Anything after that, didn't see it, don't know it. Obviously, since Marvel you know, UK, there's been Dreamwave, and then there's been the IDW. And IDW have done countless versions, you know, different runs of comics, all different manner of subjects, all with different names like Regeneration and uh, All Hail Megatron, um, Spotlight... Um, escalation. There's, there's all these other, and, and these names don't mean anything to me. I don't understand the IDW continuity, so I'm not entirely sure. Looking at the list, what I was getting, and kind of what this video is about is, I, I will show you what I've got, and I want you guys to give me some pointers as to what I've actually got. What what would be worth reading first? Because all the IDW stuff, I mean, it's like I said, it's just names. I want to put it in into some sort of order, like start, middle, end, some sort of chronological order, and it just doesn't make any sense to me at the moment. There is uh, some stuff in here that's Marvel G1, you no know, Marvel UK based, so I, I'm familiar with that, and I can get on with reading that. But the IDW stuff, I ain't got a clue. So, without further ado, let's get on to it. Well, needless to say. Tom turned up earlier. Um, <clears throat> I really wanted to 
take a photograph or some video of Tom Owen, but uh, sadly he declined to to be photographed or filmed. But um, I kind of want to give you guys an idea of what he's looked like, what he looks like, and the only thing I can come up with is he kind of looks like James Corden. Kind of, he's kind of a James Corden lookalikey. But anyway. Needless to say, that's the last dealing I will have with Tom Owen. We shook hands, thanked him profusely for everything he's done for me, and, and obviously I've been a huge help to him. I've given him his asking price, and he's more than happy with you know, what I've paid him. So everyone's happy. So anyway, let's get into these comics. Now, we'll start, we'll start with the, uh, the combined volumes first. I've just stacked them. Right, so first we've got... Transformers G.I. Joe Dreamwave Pockets Volume 1. We've then got uh, Classic Transformers Volume 2, that's uh, uh, Marvel G1 Comics. I think that's the uh, American ones. Best of Transformers Eye of the Storm by Simon Furman. More you know, collected G1 comics. Transformers Showdown. Again, Marvel, well, G, no, G1, Marvel G1 comics. Transformers Beast Wars The Gathering. Now, I like Beast Wars, the, the cartoon series is awesome. Um, I don't know about the comics, obviously, I'll have to give them a whirl, see what they're like. But uh, I understand Beast Wars, so I'll, hopefully, I should get on with these quite, quite well. Now, which one's this? The War Within. Now, this is a comic series that was originally done by Dreamwave, as I understand, and I was very interested in getting hold of this, mainly because I've got Titanium War Within Grimlock, and obviously the War Within characters have their Cybertronian modes. They have a, a much different aesthetic from other Transformers that you've seen up to now. So I was quite interested in giving this series of world and seeing what it was all about. So I've got volume one and I've got volume two and hopefully with these two volumes I've got all of the war within. Transformers generation one, volume one and Transformers generation one volume two. Now then there's this one, Transformers Evolution Hearts of Steel and I've had a quick flick through it, and it appears to be a, a what-if uh, comic of if the Transformers, instead of being awakened in the 1980s, had been awakened during the Industrial Revolution and came out, you know, during the Wild West and, you know, made alt modes out of steam engines and stuff. And it's that's basically what this is about. It looks kind of interesting. It's a spin-off comic line, so I should be able to read this without any fear of getting mixed up with any other comic continuities. <coughs> Spotlight Revelation. Transformer Spotlight Revelation. Oh yeah, that one. You see, look, you see, Escalation. It's another one of these names they give for these comic series that IDW have done means nothing to me, means absolutely nothing. I don't know how it fits in the whole timeline of the Transformers story. And this is what I need help with. So anyway, I've got Escalation, um, Volume 3. Now, Transformers Dark Design. Um, from what I can tell, this is G2 based, because, and it's also got um, a bit of uh, Transformers, you know, uh, G.I. Joe, type stuff in here as well, because obviously you've got you know, G2 Megatron on the cover. So yeah, I sh should be able to get into that. All Hail Megatron number one. Now, I'm sure people are going to tell me that this is a must must read. Um, obviously I've only got one part of it. Uh, I think there is some more bits to it in the, the loose comics. Obviously this is the combined volume number one, so I don't really... Again, I'm going to need some advice as to which comic, you know, storylines to to go for, to to run with, to watch, and this is what I'm hoping to get some help with with you guys out there. There's a couple of uh, 
movie ones, movie prequel. Not really interested in those, to be honest. Now, Fallen Angel. I've got this already. I bought it at Auto Assembly last year. It's one of a couple of the um, combined volumes that I bought. So I have already got, got this one already. Um, so this is a duplicate. Um, I don't know if they're doing the fan sales table at Auto Assembly again this year. If they are, I might be taking this item over to put on the fan sales table along with a few other things that I'm planning to, you know, offload. But anyway, still a good read. It's got Death's Head in it. And that's a, <laughs> one excuse. Well, that's an excuse as you'll ever need to read this. But uh, very good. But it's a duplicate. I don't really need it now. We're getting on to the books. Transformers, the best of Simon Furman. Now, this is a big mama jamma. I mean, how much was this? $50. Just for this one tome. How many pages has it got? 271 pages. Hardback. Now there are a few e-ticket items in this lot which are quite valuable. This is obviously one of them. And I reckon this and a couple of other items on their own would account would easily be worth the hundred pound I paid for this comic lot. But anyway, I'm sure someone's gonna tell me that this is an awesome book. And last of the big stuff Transformers Simon Furman Ultimate Guide. Another again, another book magazine type thing I mean it's it's softback but it basically is a is a is a uh, guide to the transformers in general and looks kind of interesting it goes into most well seems to go into most of the continuities and the toys as well so very useful guide and again well it's only 9.99 but still probably very useful thing to have so that's the big stuff now Let's get on to the small stuff which came in this rather handy Dr. Martin's box. Transformers War Within 2nd of November. Don't know. New Avengers in the Transformers. Transformers Megatron's Origins. These are all mixed up, by the way. Transformers Magazine. Um, issue 3, October 2007. Transformers Comet, issue 13, two, July 2008. Issue 11, Transformers comic issue 11, May 2008. Again, these, these are for the movie, I think. Uh, Transformers issue 14, August 2008. Transformer issue 12, June 2008. <coughs> right. Issue 2, August 2007, Transformers magazine. Issue 1, June 2007, Transformers Magazine. Trans IDW, Best of UK, Dinobots. Transformers Timelines, Game of Deception. Transformers Collectors Club, Issue 20. Transformers Collectors Club, Issue 19. Transformers Collectors Club issue 32, Collectors Club issue 31, Collectors Club issue 35, Collectors Club issue 18, Collectors Club issue 17, Collectors Club issue 33, Collectors Club issue 34. So there's a couple of those, and there's still more. Collectors Club issue 21. Now, a couple of uh, 
Transformers uh, movie prequel issue one, Transformers movie prequel issue two, Beast Wars the Ascending issue one, Beast Wars the Ascending issue two. Now we're getting on to the uh, the IDW stuff proper. Escalation issue 5B, Best of UK issue 2, Dinobots, Official Movie Sequel issue 1, Official Movie Sequel issue, issue 2, Spotlight Soundwave cover B, Spotlight Double Dealer cover B, Devastations um, 6A, Devastation issue 1A, Devastation issue 2B, Devastation issue 3A, Devastation issue 5A, Devastation issue 4B, All Hail Megatron number 3, All Hail Megatron number 2, Best of UK issue 2, Time Wars, Best of UK Issue 3 Time Wars Spotlight Cup cover B Spotlight Op um, Optimus Prime cover A Spotlight Six Shot cover A Spotlight Galvatron cover B Best of UK Dinobots number 5 Best of UK Time Wars number 1 Spotlight Blaster cover B and finally Spotlight Ultra Magnus cover B. So there you go, and <laughs> that's the lot. As you can see, a uh, wide selection of stuff there, a uh, big stack of IDW loose comics and the uh, the combined uh, volumes. Now, obviously, I need a bit of help with this because IDW stuff, I don't understand it. Hardly read any of it, and there's so many different stories amongst the IDW lot, I don't know where to begin. So I need some help from you guys to give me some pointers as to which you know, comic lines within IDW to chase after, to, to read first, then read that second. I need some help. I'm sure Chris Six Shot Changer will give me some pointers on this, seeing as he likes his IDW comics and he's a devout uh, viewer of mine. Yeah, and the other thing I want to ask, um, did I get a good deal? For my 100 quid that I spent on this lot, did I get a good deal? I suspect I did, but I, I kind of want to gauge just how good a deal I got. I mean, this is a huge lot of Transformer comics. It's going to take me weeks to read through this lot. Um, once I've read through it, then I'm going to decide which ones I want to keep, which ones I want to get rid of. But again... As soon as people give me some advice as to which comics to, to go for, which to stay clear of, then I might be able to, you know, get an understanding of what I want from the IDW comics, personally. So anyway, that's it. That's been a look at this this comic haul. <laughs> and you see, it's been, it's been huge. I mean, I've been after this... As soon as Tom Owen breathed to me that he said he'd got a load of comics, I was interested. Now, I didn't realise that it was going to be quite as big as, as what he got. But it, it's certainly going to give me a, a good starting block to start building up a, you know, a, a big collection of Transformers comics. Which is great. Um, there were a few missions. No Last Stand of the Wreckers. <laughs> I was kind of hoping he'd have Last Stand of the Wreckers. But no, he hasn't got it. So that's something I'm going to have to look out for at Auto Assembly. I'll have to look out for the combined volume last stand of the Wreckers. Because uh, everyone keeps going on about it. I want to see what all the fuss is about. I do like the Wreckers. But the Wreckers for me are those six figures from the G1 comic back in uh, Target 2006. That's the Wreckers for me. Not you know the later ones that came along. But anyway, I'm you know, very pleased with what I've got. And uh, so I should be. Um, 
I am thinking about doing one more video uh, regards to the Tom Owen stuff because I, I've done so well out of him. He's been such a great guy and has sold me so much stuff for such you know such really reasonable prices. I want to do an, an overlook of the entire haul, everything that I bought off him and how much I actually spent. But anyway, that's another video for another time. Um, auto assemblies. Wow, it's about what five weeks away now. I see a lot of people are putting out their auto assembly videos already. Why so bloody early? Come on, wait till it's like two weeks to go before you start putting your videos out. And don't put them out like six, seven weeks beforehand. I mean, it's what are you going to say close to the time? I'm not going to do my auto assembly videos until at least a week, two weeks before. I've got probably two videos planned that I'm going to do. I'm going to do my pre auto assembly talk. And then I'm going to do my um, my auto assembly challenge video. I'm going to set a challenge to everybody who goes to auto assembly who's a, a YouTube reviewer. And I'm not going to go into details just yet. But anyway, I will do a specific video close to the time. <coughs> As for now, here it is. Comics. Lots of them. Yeah, they're falling out all over the floor. Yes, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've uh, liked me parading a load of comic books in front of the screen. Um, yeah, uh, I wasn't <laughs> really wasn't wanting to spend much money this month, but uh, this sort of came out of the blue. But I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I got it. I think what I spent on this lot was well worth it. And once I get into this stuff, I'll be I'll have a better understanding of what I've what I've got and what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of. So anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Ta-ta.